Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new Nova Warp uh, skill tree for the Voidwalker. Now, this is what I started on with the Forsaken and I am absolutely in love with the Nova Warp skill tree. Uh, so far, I, I have played every new subclass on my own account. I currently have three unlocked and maxed out. But uh, Nova Warp is just its just what I keep coming back to. I mean, I'm, I'm in absolutely in love with this skill tree. So I want to talk about what I've been doing to make it effective. I have seen some people are struggling with really making the super work specifically. So I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But here's uh, my setup. And I've been dropping Wii Rans and getting multi kills and going on long kill streaks and just having so much fun now that I really have the hang of this uh, subclass in particular. So. In the kinetic slot here, you see I'm using a pulse rifle, not just any pulse rifle, but the one that I'm using is the Bygones. Now this pulse rifle comes from the Gambit playlist exclusively. There's no other place that you can acquire this particular pulse rifle. And my particular role is actually the vendor role. Now I have grinded a ton of Gambit. I mean, I've, uh, at this point I've logged 20 plus hours of Gambit. And it's, we're not even done with <laughs> week one of the Forsaken, so I have played a ton of Gambit. I've maxed out at Legend, and I have reset my Infamy, and have started the grind a second time through, and <laughs> to this date, I've never had a Bygones drop. I'm mad about it. <laughs> so, the role that I have is the Vendor version. This is the one that you pick up from the Drifter in the tower once you have reached that 12th rank up of Infamy. So once you've done that, you can go to the tower, you can pick this up. This one has full auto and kill clip. I love full auto. Or I'm, I'm sorry, I misspoke. I love kill clip on this gun. Full auto, I don't give a rat's patootie about. I never use full auto on pulse rifles. It messes up my cadence and it makes me miss shots because basically the gun is firing before I'm really ready for it to. So I'm landing one or two bullets out of a burst sometimes just because I'm holding down the trigger. So I, I prefer just to pull the trigger every individual time that I want to shoot the gun. So I don't use the full auto, but the kill clip is nasty. It is absolutely nasty on this gun. First of all, I love I love the, the sight that you have on this gun, the reticle, everything. Uh, the recoil pattern is very predictable and easy to manage. Once you get the hang of the direction of the recoil, it's just, it's so easy and predictable. You can just, I mean, yeah, I just put it on the shoulder, pull the trigger, and I get three headshots. You know, it's, it, it's that easy. It's, it's literally that easy. And when you have Kill Clip active, this gun does 123 damage to the head in a single burst. That is absolutely bonkers. It is absolutely bonkers. So I'm just in love with this gun. Absolutely in love with it. I adore it. So I've been using this a butt ton lately and having a ton of fun using it in the uh, energy slot. I'm actually not using a special weapon. I'm using another primary weapon. Because I hate ammo droughts. I absolutely hate ammo droughts. And sometimes you just can't find green. Sometimes, you know, you're using your special ammo effectively. But the green ammo that's dropped is getting picked up by someone else before you get to it. Or the person that you killed just doesn't have green ammo. I still love using snipers. I still really enjoy using shotguns. Especially the Chaperone right now. I have so much fun with it. But in uh, standard playlists, I just I hate running into the scenario where I only have one gun to use. So I'm using this sidearm. This is the Anonymous Autumn. I have done a video on this particular gun and my particular role on this gun, but my Anonymous Autumn has Rangefinder on it and Outlaw. And in addition to Rangefinder, it also has tier 10 range masterwork on it too. So this baby maps. It's nasty. And you can see in, especially the, the gameplay on Burning Shrine, or Burnout rather, the we ran out of metals and i think i've been like 16 15 16 of these kills are with this sidearm just pop 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 pop, pop. like and, and here's the trick i always get people who are like it's got to be full auto or a modded controller because you can't fire it that fast you absolutely can here's the thing most people use their pointer finger to pull the trigger i do not when you use your pointer finger to pull the trigger the amount of leverage that you have is uh, pretty limited in terms of what you're you know pulling against the controller i use my middle finger and so I'm pulling, I'm basically pinching the controller and the button 
in between my middle finger and my palm. So my palm is much more steady, much more stable. I'm getting better leverage and I can, I have a faster trigger finger that way. I can just spam that trigger with my middle finger and blah, 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 easy peasy. And my pointer finger is actually sitting on top of the controller. It's called the claw grip. And uh, it's just relaxed, just chilling up there, hitting the buttons on the top. It's uh, a lot of people think that the claw grip is like some, mm, you like stress your finger, like you're making this claw shape and it's like tense and they're like, isn't that gonna give you arthritis? No, no, they're literally, no instances of anyone ever having carpal tunnel or or anything comes specifically from clawing on a controller. I've been doing it for 18 years now and I have no problems in my fingers, no problems whatsoever. It's because it's not a stressed grip. Your finger is literally just relaxed sitting on top of the controller and there's no harm that it can do. So anyways, uh, that, that's what I'm doing for the energy slot, the anonymous autumn, and it's shredding people. In the heavy slot, I'm using the tractor cannon. Boo! I know, but I like to troll people. It's fun. I'm sorry, okay? So sue me. But uh, I do use, I do enjoy using tractor cannon. Uh, I just like the suppressing effect, I like shutting down supers. I like throwing people off the map or throwing them into walls. And I laugh hysterically because I play video games for fun. So, anyways, those are the weapons that I'm using when I'm running my um, Nova Warp skill tree. Now, let's talk about the Nova Warp. Uh, abilities in particular that I'm using in this gameplay and that I'm using when I'm using this thing. Handheld Supernova, that's your grenade ability. And there are actually gauntlets out there that shorten the charge time that you can charge up your grenades no matter what um, you know what skill tree you're playing on the, on the Voidwalker, whether it's Devour, Chaos, or um, a Two Minute Fission. So anyways, uh, if you get those, those can be pretty nice. I'm particularly uh, using the Affidian Aspects because I've got I've got some nice perks on mine. So I like having the reload speed, keeps things moving, keeps me in the action, and I don't have to take so much downtime to reload my weapons all the time. So I prefer using the Affidian Aspects, but I'll probably play around with Chromatic Fire when I finally get one to freaking drop for me as well. I'll probably have some fun with the Chromatic Fires and just kind of stack some uh, reload speed mods and, um, you know, perks on rolled, you know, random rolled perks on my armor to uh, maximize the reload speeds. So I might play around with that once I get a chromatic fire to drop. But for the time being, a fitting aspects. And the handheld supernova itself, this thing is its just nasty, guys. It is. So it, you're basically throwing four little projectiles, four little bombs in like a straight, like a line, horizontal from you as you, as you throw them out, okay? And collectively, they do 200 damage, 50 apiece, okay? Now those explosions are not they're not contained I mean they'll do 50 damage to anything near them so when you throw if you throw at center mass at somebody you're doing 200 you're gonna kill someone on a single grenade charge instantly I mean this is better than d1 stickies because with the d1 stickies you threw it and then you had to hope that the guy didn't kill you before the grenade threw uh, blew up I almost said before the grenade threw up but the grenades don't vomit that's that's a weird thing to say Ryan uh, before the grenades blew up, but with the um, you know the handheld supernova, it's instant. I mean, you chuck that baby out, and boom, they're dead. But like I said, these explosions are not contained. I got gameplay that I just showed you in this video of multiple times, like even guys just two guys sitting in a healing rift with overshields, and I chuck this thing at them, and I kill two guys with a single grenade charge instantly. In the blink of an eye, they're both dead. It's awesome. Now here's the thing. They kill you too, <laughs> okay? I have killed myself so many times with a handheld supernova. I do it every single day. I do it multiple times on stream. I just bury my head in my lap in shame because it happens. And sometimes there's literally nothing in front of you but empty space, but for some reason, the grenade just decides to blow up in your face and kill you. It has happened a lot to me. <laughs> so I'm familiar with the wolves. It's kind of high risk, high reward. Uh, even if you're throwing it at point blank, you know, sometimes you're just trading because you're killing him and yourself at the same time. But if it's premeditated and it's not panicked, uh, usually you can just, you can mop someone up with a single handheld supernova. It's awesome. Uh, the Atomic Breach melee ability. Um, I've started to really like this thing a lot more because a lot of times I'm getting, you know, one or two shots into a guy and then I have to go for the melee because he's up in my face. Here's the thing, the Atomic Breach, it throws them backwards. It pushes them away from you, which is really nice because you're sometimes avoiding a melee or a double beatdown because you're hitting them and it projects them backwards away from you. Not only does it do that, 
but when the when you use atomic breach and you punch somebody with it you attach this avoid charge to them to their chest and as they're flying away that thing's going to glow and then detonate and do an, an additional 65 damage to them to them and anything else around them so i've gotten double kills because i hit a guy back into his teammate who was already hurt and then the atomic breach blew up and it killed both i got a double kill with the breach it's really cool so I've started to really like this ability a lot more lately. This is just kind of good for being like, hey, get away from me and also die over there, please. <laughs> it's nice. It's real nice. Now, the Nova Warp Super itself took some getting used to. And I used to think, and I was proved wrong on this today on stream live. I had to eat my words. But I thought you had to, you had to charge it up if you wanted to one-hit kill a Guardian uh, at full health. It was my understanding that uh, just just detonating the uh, Nova Warp Nova without charging it up didn't do enough damage. Uh, it was my understanding that you had to charge it up. That is not the case. You can blink in, and if you are right on top of them, you just hit that trigger, boom, you get that instant detonation, and they will die if you are close enough to them. And it's nasty. I've started to get used to doing this now. Um, I'm glad I was wrong because I felt like the super was a little bit weak and it'd be kind of picky with when you chose to push with it. But now I feel a lot more confident, kind of zip, 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 boom, zip, boom, zip, boom, right? And it's just, oh, it's so much fun, guys, it is. So try it out, try it out. Zip in there and, and just go boom on people. It's fun, it's stupid fun. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope we, that you enjoyed the tips. I hope you enjoyed getting to know my current loadout, what I'm using, what I'm finding effective, and, and what I'm enjoying doing. Um, well, I hope that I catch you in the Crucible, because that will be fun. And if you beat me, say GG. And I'll say, shut up and go. No, I'll say, cool, man, GG. It was good playing you. Um, yeah, hope to see you guys there. Be warm and well-fed, my friends. Till next time.